Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flailthroughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a guest video from Demolition Hound, who is in the Gogo Vertex Xanthos. And uh, I'm happy to have this, because I've been trying to get a really good round with the Xanthos for a while, and just haven't pulled it off yet. Eventually, I'm sure I'll get, I'll get the knack of it, but yeah, in the meantime, just nice to have better gameplay than I've managed to get so far. See, it looks like a, a Rigazi custom uh, tagged him with the nose gun, which with type disadvantage didn't amount to much. But yeah, the one thing I have learned, since, I think, since I think it was in the comments of my uh, first Xanthos video, is that you can basically rapid fire the uh, old the uh, Jim Sniper rifle that it has. The uh, Hyper Mega Launcher, not so much, and also you have to, you know. Uh, you get the uh, sustained fire if you uh, charge it, but yeah. Okay, yeah, M1, and okay, now that, yep, okay. Yeah, once once the Z-Zulu is on you, there's not a lot you can do, especially when you have, uh, yep, he's uh, calling for help, because definitely a good idea, because yeah, there's not a lot you can do, and especially since the Xanthos has that big backpack sticking up, so it's going to be easy to hit when it's down. But, okay, uh, somebody's working on the Z-Zulu. The gear Zulu that was with it uh, is uh, trying to offer support. And it looks like together they may manage to take out that Zeku Ainz Type 3. But it uh, depends on how fast Demo gets back in there and whether or not anybody goes to help it, I guess. But looks like number one might, who is also a support, might be uh, helping from a, a distance. Demo is going to get in there and hopefully, you know, land some shots. And there's one. And brain. Come on, brain. We can get through this. Okay, got the Z-Zulu. Nice. And there is... Oops. A little bit uh, faster than he could fire. But hey, there is a uh, Masala over there that is now dead. And there's another kill. And I think he's overheated several weapons by now. But, you know, you get the kills. It doesn't matter. Especially since the two main guns seem to be online. Um, yeah, that is a... I think that's a Riga Z custom up there. Either that or a Zeta plus A1, which would be a bigger problem, but eh, let's hope for the, uh, let's hope for the Riga Z custom. Pretty sure that's what it is. I, I'm pretty sure that's what, uh, hit him at the beginning of the round, so. Um, and now everything's spawning back in, so yeah, just... Ah, good time to be, uh... Good time to be careful. I think I just saw Demo switch off of the shoulder cannon, and that's really a good idea, because that shoulder cannon, because of the backpack, is so far up that you probably hit the overhang on that uh, on that hangar there rather than actually connect with uh, the target. So, let's see, somebody's planted support fire. I think the support he just got was somebody killing that Rigazi custom. And... Let's see, uh, it's, I think, yeah, this, I think that's a standard Gear Zulu, uh, trying to attack him. Yeah, that looks like it's, uh, Sturmfast, I believe. But, yeah, he's, I know somebody else called for help, but they're already dead, so it doesn't matter now. Let's see, grenade, yep, and hyper mega launcher, and just all the leg damage you can manage, because once that person can't advance anymore and falls on their face, you, you're in a great position. And almost there, I think. If they put leg reinforcement on, uh, on it, though, you're going to kill them before they can actually, uh, before you can actually, you know, hobble them, so see how that works. Ooh, big downswing, so uh, if they can get away, they will. I have, like I said, I have a feeling they may try and boost any second now and actually fall on their face, but yeah, Demo was definitely working the legs there because there's not much else you can do when you're soloing uh, something with a lot of boost. Because, yeah, if he, if it, I for, I think the Gear Zulu has forced injectors, and, yeah, if it had tried to do any kind of forced injector shenanigans, it absolutely would have fallen down. But, yeah, somebody said don't uh, get reckless, which I'm sure is good advice for somebody on the team, but, you know, being back by the base as the support, probably not all that reckless, especially since there did seem to be allies in the area. But, okay, somebody else managed that kill. Ah, but there's a couple of good targets. If nobody is focusing him, he may be able to... Okay, they noticed he was there. That's a shame. But that's okay. It's not done yet. And... Charge the, uh... Uh, gym sniper rifle. Good shot there. 
And 67 93 to 81 25. A couple of good kills will uh, even that up pretty well. Okay, got the shield, which sat them still long enough for somebody else to get the kill. And now time to head back towards the base, because there's a couple of things there worth shooting. Um, one of them, I think, may... S okay, one of them's the Regency Custom, and it is running away. Um, he has a pretty good angle on it, though. And will he do it? Got the shot. Got the kill in midair. Nice. That's great. Okay. Um, yeah, so... And they are now in the lead, 91.49 to 81.25. At, six, at 600, that's like a kill and a half, something like that. But, ah, snuck in a spot on that Masala. Good move. And got the support, uh, got the assist, which is more points, which is what you need with this, uh, with a minor lead that, uh, this late in the round. So, yeah, they're in a good position. And, let's see. Um, let's see, two minutes left. But, yeah, I haven't gotten to take the Xanthos out too much, and when I have, it's basically been... There have been an awful lot of rounds lately with, uh, at 600 with two raids, and, you know, you're not completely doomed if you're uh, a support with two raids, but if you're two raids that can actually com uh, coordinate with one another a little bit, that's that's a pretty good, solid indicator of doom. But as it is, uh, Demo seems to be doing fairly well, so his uh, team's two support uh, loadout is actually uh, working a lot better than I would, you know, think offhand. At, at this point, I think, at the upper costs especially, where everything, the capabilities of everything are relatively high, I think, you know, uh, insisting on some of the more standard, traditional uh, team compositions is not as important as it used to be. I can see if somebody doesn't want, you know, too m uh, many supports or raids on their team, I get it. It's... Okay, so, but there's this weird thing for me, though, which is I have found that on a, on a team of all supports, I will do better than a team with two or three supports. I don't get why it makes a difference at all, but I, it, I swear it does. If you can just get, like, a couple supports, you'll probably be okay. If you can get five supports, you'll probably be okay. Something in the middle of those two extremes, not as okay. I don't know why. I have no idea why, but I'm not, I'm not exactly going to wait for it to uh, start making sense either. Just one of those things. A team of all raids will probably do fine. Two raids can be, be fine. Three raids uh, in a five-person team? That usually just gets weird. I think if there's any reason, uh, you know, rhyme or reason to it, I think what it comes down to... Oh, nice... Nice targeted shot there on the lowest health person uh, in the area. That was good. And are they going to win? It's going to be a close one. Not quite, I don't think. But yeah, if there were anything uh, to it, I would imagine that it's mostly just a like a psychological thing of you expect the rest of the team to be doing X uh, as like the only raid or support on a team, and when they don't, it messes you up. Good score there for Demo there. Five kills, three deaths, 120,000 damage, 3,900 points. Very nice and a very close round. So thank you for the round demo. That is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later. But yeah, I've never, I've never been huge on, you know, worrying about team composition anyway, as you know. But I, I think I'd probably broken up more uh, uh, more rooms uh, in GBO2 by sending the use whatever MS you like tell than anything else I could possibly send. Just ah, it is it is definitely something that some players don't want to hear at specific times, I'll put it that way. But like I've said before, I would rather have a whole team of people in mobile suits they know they like and they're comfortable with than, you know, people who have grudgingly switched to a raid they're not a big fan of because the team needed a raid. I have had the mo worst and most frustrating losses the times I have tried to do that for the team.